total fair domination. This is what I look forward to every year and it is coming up. This weekend is drop off for the um, fair entries in my area and the fair is open for a few weeks starting in the beginning of October. So I have been thinking over the last couple weeks what pieces of mine I wanted to put into the fair this year and this is going to be a video of me kind of showing and talking about them. So first up what you see here this is the Master and the Macabre. It is from Cricut Collection and let's see I used all the DMC colors except for on the moon. I used a Krynic filament which was a huge pain, not the filament itself, but because the moon is so large. Um, not sure what fabric I did it on, and I absolutely love it. Framed it myself, as usual, and just kind of thought that it would be something different and unique to enter into the fair. Uh, so you can actually see well there definitely sparkles um you will see that there is a hoop mark which i could not get out for the life of me now i do not stretch my pieces so yeah the back is finished off nicely not my usual ghetto otherwise i would open it and try to re-iron it, but I'm not concerned about it. So, love the colors. Um, I love that there's so much going on. So, Master and the Macabre by Cricut Collection. <clears throat> Let's see. Here, next, this is Turkey and pumpkin pie and this is from I forget I will list all these tarts though um, down below um, and I absolutely love this piece very quick to stitch um, I use the called for colors except for on the hatchet, I added a little bit of red tea treasure blade braid because um, of the blood. So I love this, very kooky and different. All I did was fold over the edges and nailed in all four corners on this cheese block that I found at thrift store um, and before I attached the piece on it I kind of took a hammer after it and made it look like it had like dents this is actually a saw mark um, but yeah I think it's really funny and I don't know just different here we have um, come back. There we go. That works. Yes. So this is the gilded cage, and this is from oh God. I don't even know why I'm. Is it the Good Huswife? Everything's down below. I stitched this in a my conversion for um, silks so I just kind of picked what was close enough because I loved the colors on the front of the design the picture on the cross stitch chart so I just used what silks I had in my stash finished it off just folded it over a piece of cardboard cardboard um, cut another piece of cross stitch material to fit and just spray glued adhesive 
it onto the back. But yeah, I love how this piece came out. The colors, the very, very slight variegation on the bird and in the greens. This cage um, I got on a trip to San Francisco for a couple bucks at a thrift store. And I knew that it would be the size um, to finish my piece into. So I love that it's a bird in a bird cage in a bird cage. And it latches, and I actually have it in my room um, hanging from the little latch there. So I love this as well. This morning I finished off this piece and I am just blown away by how it turned out. It so uh this is now and then by the primitive hair the chart is still available it was a nashville release a couple years ago i absolutely fell in love with this when i first saw it S skeleton yes um just very weird yes um macabre sign me up um and i haven't seen a lot of people stitch it so i like to stitch on things that you're not going to see everyone stitch on. These are the DMC colors. I did it on a piece of silver Lugana. Um, I didn't want white or, or beige. I think it kind of needed. Um, and you can... In the chart, it also gives you the option of stitching the other half of her in human form and then making it into like almost like a flap. So you pull that flap up and that's where it exposes the skeleton. I love seeing both next to each other as I stitched it. Um, so I got this done not too long ago and knew I didn't want to just frame it. I wanted to do something different with it. So um, just kind of thinking of different ways to sort of display it. I got onto the whole, she looked into a mirror and she broke the mirror with her sight, with her, with her appearance. I found this aqua, very light aqua um, frame for $10 at the thrift store and knew it was perfect. I actually had this piece um, in my purse and had been carrying it around. So if I hit up any thrift stores, I'd just be able to pull it out and make sure that there was enough distance between the, her dress and her arm. And there was. Um, I love the carved detail on it. I toyed with the idea of spraying in a different color. Um, gotta love friends that give you their input. And once I had her all framed up, just her, not the glass, not with the mirror, I really liked the color. Um, it's different. Um, it's not traditional. I think you would think to go with something darker. And I totally was. I was going to spray paint it. Um, but I really like it as it is, the color. So framed her up on it. And then she is just on a piece of cardboard. That is it. Um, how she's mounted. On the back, there's a very little lip within the frame. So I did not have a lot to play around with. Um, and... I still need to finish it off really nicely on the back. And then I bought a small mirror for $4 and did one smash to the middle and it kind of gave off these P 
pizza slice sort of looks and that's exactly what I was going for. I wanted the very deep angles and extreme cuts to it and nothing perfect. Um, I didn't want to have to like use a glass cutter and get perfectly round because that's not what I was trying to depict with this. Um, and then they are just, um, they're tucked underneath the lip, but then they are, I also hot glued them. So that took a little extra work, but they're in there and, um, I'm absolutely in love with this piece. Two more pieces that I thought, you know, I looked through all of the categories for entering, you know, there's soap making and all this wood carving stuff and all these different sort of arts and crafts. So I thought, what the hell, I'm going to enter in some diamond painting. Now, I only started diamond painting this year, but I definitely have fallen in love with it. Um, now, if you remember my live video from the fair last year, there were a couple diamond painting entries. And I totally talked smack about them. Um, and I will still talk smack about them if they were here in my presence. Um, the, the little diamonds, drills, whatever you want to call them, were not flushed together. It was framed horrendously. Like they had cut their own mat with like scissors. Um, and they got recognized for that with a ribbon fine to each their own it's a judge's opinion um i didn't have anything entered into the diamond painting there is no diamond painting category um so i listed it under miscellaneous mosaics um but i thought what the hell i'm gonna throw in two diamond painting finishes and just see what happens um, so I went with my African queen off to the left, totally drawn by her, um, drawn to her because of her colors, simple black frame, framed both up myself. And then this is a RTO, um, cross stitch design, which is very, very hard to find. It is called Romantic Mademoiselle. Um, and I found her. Um, in a diamond painting version. I would never stitch her if I had the kit because she is full coverage. Um, but shit, yes, I would diamond paint her. And that's what I did. Um, so both have great sparkle. Um, and I think they're just <laughs> fantastic. So I'm totally serious about entering them. Um, but then it's also kind of more or less a joke. Um, but mama needs new pasties this year. So we're going to see what happens. All right. So I will put down below the, um, names of all these charts. If you are entering pieces into your fair, please let me know down below. I would love, or do a video um and show me what you're gonna enter enter the fair don't worry about judges opinions it's somebody's opinion and um you get some pasties at the end of the fair so thank you guys so much for watching